Our God is good, amen. There is a wave of his presence. There is a wave of his glory. Kira, can you, is, is she back there? Oh, she went back here. Kira, went back here. Can you, can you play the instrumental background for me? Hallelujah. There is a wave of his presence, and I pray that you take this into your personal homes and your personal lives, and you restore that altar of worship in your life. Let it not be a Sunday thing. Let it not be a Tuesday thing. Let it be a daily, a daily thing that you experience his glory and you experience his power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Daddy, we love you. Something is breaking. Something is breaking. The floodgates are opening. The water is being stared. And those who are willing and obedient to jump into the water. Those who are willing to jump into what God is doing. You will experience a new dimension of him. It is not something that can be manufactured by man. Um, this is not something that we program. It is something that I cannot control. It is by the Spirit of Almighty God. God is moving and the floodgates are opening and God is calling you into a higher place. God is tugging on your spirit and God is calling on you to put aside religion, uh, to put aside your experience, uh, to put aside the depth of everything that you know and to say Lord God I have not been this way before uh, uh, Lord show me your glory I have not uh, been this way before Lord show me your power I have not experienced this before and uh, Joshua told the people um, that keep your eyes upon the ark of the covenant uh, uh, for you have not been this way before uh, many a times we miss out on the goodness of God um, because we know the song we miss out on the glory of God because we know how this is going to end up. Uh, but I, I promise you and I invite you, we have not been this way before. Our God is moving in a new way and your experience is not going to be worth anything. Your ability to predict God is not going to work in this sense. It's a huge wave. Lost in your presence, O oh God. The restoration of the tabernacle of praise. The restoration of the inner place. Of the most holy place. I'm calling you to a most holy place. I am drawing you to a most holy place. You have been busy. Oh, so busy. That my secret place has felt have been busy oh so busy that you have forsaken my inner courts come now again let us fellowship together come once again let us fellowship together the 
anointing of God is so strong in this place. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Break bondages tonight. Break yokes. impartation of your glory. We love your presence, O oh God. God is calling us to come up higher. He's calling you to stop the two by four worship songs. You know what that means? Two by four worship songs. <laughs> that's a that's a Ghanaian phrase. <laughs> the 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 so so connection with God. Enough to just wade your feet in the water and to say that at least I was there and be totally immersed, immersed in His glory. Don't miss this wave of God, don't miss what God is doing. It is, it is. I cannot predict it. I cannot control it. What I know is to hear the voice of God and obey. That I will do. But you see the way when you are with your friends or with your, with your spouse or with somebody that you guys have an inside code, right? And people are all around and you guys are speaking in code with the tilt of the head, with the wink of the eye, with one word means everything. And everybody else is busy laughing, but they have no clue what's going on. That is exactly what is happening. If you don't get into the deep place of God, if you don't get into that place of waiting in His presence and breaking out of cultural religion, and breaking out of what is just normal, just just doing it, just to do it. If you don't break out of that and get into his inner courts, his presence is going to move. You're going to be smiling for the wrong things. God is going to move and you will not understand one thing that he's doing. Wherever it is, that the water is. Bible says the son of man, he walked into the water and the waters flowed and they were as deep as the ankle. And then the waters flowed as high as the knee and the waters flow as the waistline and to the point where he could no longer stand. There is a wave of his glory. There's a wave of his presence uh, and you can sit on the sideline and do your cultural religion and do your experience deep religion or you can say, Lord God, I, 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 I need you to do a new thing behold I'm doing a new thing do you not see it I'm pouring up my spirit upon all flesh. I'm doing something greater than the eye can see. And I have been calling you. I'm calling you. Come. Come up higher. Come into my presence and stay in my presence. Don't just drive through my presence. Don't just do it because you have to. But come with the intention of staying. He said, come with the intention of staying. God was speaking earlier. The sense is of when 
somebody you have not seen in a long time says I'm coming by to see you and then in 10 minutes they say I gotta go that is the void that I'm, I'm experiencing that God is saying like, like you're leaving already I, oh I am God I'm supposed to understand Jesus said, could you not wait with me one hour? Could you not, like, I understand, I understand life, but am I not worth you staying a little longer? Am I not worth you abiding with me without looking at where else you have to? Without making me a checklist, would you just wait a little longer? Would you stay with me just a little longer? I don't know where your walk with God is, but if it has been like a bus station you just stop by to get to your next place stop by to get the next prayer request stop by to hang with friends stop by just to say that you are part of it there is a call of almighty God for us to come to You know when somebody is talking to you and when somebody is talking past you. When you're in the conversation and as we're talking, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, 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 uh-huh. That is what we have made his presence. Right? You don't check your phone like 55 times. And you've only been in his presence for five minutes. Like he's not the destination. He's just the pass through. His presence has not been our destination. It's been the pass through on your way to your busy things. On your way to doing your agenda. On your way to doing what you want to do. You know what? I got to stop by. You know what? If I don't stop by grandma's house, she's going to say that I don't care. So I'm going to just stop by just so she can leave me alone. Now I got to go do what I want to do. That's what we have done with the presence of God. Stop by, pick up a few things for the journey. I love your cooking, Grandma. I'll see you later. And then we just walk away. He has not been, I am going to my father's house. Like I'm going and my shoes are coming off. And Daddy, I have come to see you. I don't have an agenda. Whatever you want to say, if you want to keep quiet, we're going to stay quiet. If you want to say something, you're going to say something. But Lord, I am just here for you. Psalm 91. Whatever I had today, I'm going to share it on Sunday. Because God is moving in a heavy way right now. And I want you, if you can, just, 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 just hold your attention upon Him. Don't let anything pull you. Don't let anything distract you. Just, just stay, just stay in that, in that atmosphere. Psalm 91, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow 
of the Almighty. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I was in prayer this morning before before getting on the prayer line. I was I was doing my time and spending time with him. He that dwelleth in the secret place. To be in the shadow of somebody, you got to be close. The shadow does not cast forever. And normally at the, at the, at the, at the tallest point of the shadow, it is as tall as the image itself. The shadow will never be longer. He that dwelleth. See, you can't be in the shadow. Do I have a shadow? Yeah. You can't be in the shadow over there. You got to be within arm's reach if you're going to be. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. To be in the shadow of the Almighty, you have to be near. You cannot be far away and claim to be under the shadow of the Almighty. You got to draw near to me and I will draw near to you. This is beyond your Bible study, child of God. This is beyond taking notes. This is beyond uh, 15 minutes of this to 10 minutes of that. It is beyond that. God is calling us as a church. God is calling us right now to get into, in, into, into a place where his agenda rules. And you got to be near. You can't be borrowing other people's prayer and other people's experience and other people's anointing and say, yeah, look at us. We're going. No, no, no. You got to be in the shadow yourself. And in prayer this morning, God just said it plainly. He said it. I was like, oh, that's deep. And I was going to ignore it. He says, write it down. So I had to like, okay, I'll write it down. I'll write it down. He said, you got to be in my shadow for me to overshadow you. You got to be in my shadow. You got to take that step to come into my shadow for me to overshadow you. We step into his presence, into the secret place of the most high God so that we are near him. Let me tell you what God has. Look, go to the book of Luke. Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1. I'm talking about an overshadowing that is so thick it gets you pregnant. Luke chapter 1, verse number 20. Let's begin in verse 34. You know the scriptures. Blessed are you amongst women. You know, highly favored women. Blessed women, you know. And the Bible says she was troubled and she said, you know, what does this be? You will bear a son and you will conceive. His reign will be forever. Look at verse number 34. Luke 1, 34. Then Mary said to the angel, how can this be? Since I do not know a man. Verse 35, and the angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit what, will come upon you and the power of the highest will what, overshadow you. Therefore also the Holy One which is to be born of you will be called the Son of God. 
there is an impartation that God wants to put into your heart. There is something that God wants you to birth into your life, into your family, into the ministry, into your community. There is something that God wants to impregnate you with and that will take you moving into his shadow so that his power can overshadow. If you've ever been to a Starbucks, you can never lie about being in a Starbucks. You just got to be in there 30 seconds and your clothes smell like Starbucks. You can, you and me, just drop your cup off and run out. Everybody will know that you have been in Starbucks. The presence of coffee is so thick, it permeates your garments. Overshadow you. Doesn't matter what perfume or cologne you're wearing, you st just stay there and mess up and just type an email. You've been there too long. Everybody can tell that you have been. And the Bible says that when, this, when they heard the disciples and realized that they were unlearned men, they concluded that they must have been with Jesus. That now we see, we see Jesus in them. The only way we can explain they are confidence and they are boldness and what is happening through them is that they must have been with Jesus. Can people tell that you have been with Jesus? Or do they know that he's your BFF at the back of the house? Has there been that impartation of his glory Upon your life, has there been that impossible? And the glory of God was so thick in the temple, the priest could not stand to minister. I'm talking about in being being overshadowed by his presence. That as you walk, you bear his glory. Not the fake one that is covered up with a shout and a deep word. One that does not require an explanation. You just show up. And the presence of the Lord is in this place. You just, you show up and you are saturated. That doesn't come by drive through ministry. It comes by staying to be overshadowed. Many of us are wearing the, the badge and the pin. But we are staying long enough to carry his smell. We haven't stayed long enough to bear the aroma of his presence. I love it when the Bible says that. And, and, uh, and Moses was in the tent with Joshua. When the glory came, Moses inter, 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 interacted with God. And Joshua, the son of Nun, was there with him. After Moses had done his work, the Bible says that, and, and Moses left. But Joshua stayed behind. You don't bring down the walls of Jericho and the sun stand still by driving through his presence. 
by having religion and deep tradition and big talk. That you abide in his presence. I like to use the phrase marinate. Marinate. Just, just soak up his glory. Just, just abiding in the secret place. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, then you shall ask whatever you will and it shall be done. Abide in me. Don't just drive through. Don't just use me. Uh, don't just see, he's the, 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 the old bearded man upstairs. Oh, he's my friend, but I have not known him. What did Paul say? I count all things but loss that I might know the Amplified said that, that I must be deeply and intimately acquainted with him. Not just somebody said. Not just the church experience said. Not just because, you know, all, all, the, all the deep religious experience, but, but I know him. The power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. Whatever he feels, I feel it. Whatever he does, I know it. It's time to get overshadowed by his presence. And let's stop this fake power. Power wanna be. I'm not saying you are doing evil. I'm just saying that there's a place that we have not gotten into. We have gotten comfortable with what is normal. And God is saying that that's not good enough for me. He's saying, come up higher. Let me show you great and mighty things that you know not of. Let me show you my heart. Listen, when somebody drives through your house, you don't tell them anything. When somebody says hello hi you say hello hi how you doing fine how's the weather beautiful it well, it's clear outside isn't it oh my god it's crazy isn't it man the wind you talk about nonsense you don't reveal the depth of your heart to people passing through we want to hear the depths of god's heart god Pour into us. God, speak to me. But you are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. God, yes, uh-huh. Keep talking. And, you, and you're just passing through. No, no, no. I'm going to trust you with the deep things after you stay. For no reason. And then you stay. For no reason. And you keep coming back. And you keep staying when I can trust your staying power, then I'm going to start talking. Why do we think if you don't trust even the people in your circle, it took you two years to even say one secret of your heart. And you think God would just say because you sang Waymaker, let me, oh, let me show you the depths. No, you can't handle it. You can't handle the depths of his, of his revelation. It's going to be too much for us. Let me, let, me, let me emphasize that point one more time. When you just meet somebody for the first time, and then they start talking, right? And how is this? And how is that? How do you feel? You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. This, this is too much. Because I am not in that place. I have not made room for you. Enough for you to reveal all of that. Because that room comes by fellowship and by koinonia and by knowing you. So God knows that if he starts spewing his heart to you right now, you're going to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. I just came, listen, I need $500. I just came to say a prayer. I didn't come for all that. 
<laughs> I didn't come for all this, my heart and, and salvations and, and the kingdom. I didn't come to hear all that kingdom stuff. I just came to drop my prayer request off. I'll see you call me when it's, it's done and I'll come pick it up. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You want to be in the shadow of the Almighty? Get back in the secret place. Consistently. And that's our problem. We are good for two weeks, then we take three weeks off. Then we are back on two and a half, then we take one week off. We are not consistent enough to To marinate. And when we are consistent in the secret place, then he will overshadow you. He will overshadow you. He will take over you. Let's get back into the secret place. If you have been there already, jump into the Ark of the Covenant. Go deeper. Press deeper. Press deeper. Many a times our experience has stopped us. Like, yeah, I expect God. I, I, I know, I know, I know. And so God is like, we don't use that no more. I don't do that no more. I'm showing you something else and you are saying, I know, I know, I know. Because of your experience, you are not pressing in deeper. Please stand up on your feet.